Hello all. Welcome back to Nanotech. Today's topic is single chiral carbon nanotubes. Carbon nanotubes have received considerable attention as electronic materials since their discovery in 1990 by Ijima. We have already discussed carbon nanotubes. If you are eager to learn more, I encourage you to check out our previous video tutorials on the topic. Today, we are diving a short view into single chiral carbon nanotubes. Start with introduction. The distinct and highly diverse electronic and optical properties of single-wall carbon nanotubes have generated considerable interest for various applications. However, the methods of synthesis generally result in heterogeneous mixtures concerning chirality, diameter, and band gap. This presents a crucial issue for certain applications that necessitate nanomaterials with more uniform properties. As the electronic and optical properties are heavily reliant on the single-wall carbon nanotube structure, there exists substantial interest in post-synthesis methods aimed at separating single-wall carbon nanotubes to acquire dispersions with predominantly single or a few chirality types. Numerous techniques and separation strategies have been developed to categorize heterogeneous mixtures of N, M, single-wall carbon nanotubes and impurities. The most prevalent methods for eliminating bulk impurities from single-wall carbon nanotubes samples encompass acid treatment for initial single-wall carbon nanotubes soot and centrifugation for dispersed CNT populations. However, achieving subpopulation divisions, such as based on indices or metallicity, which necessitate prior individualization of nanotubes, and therefore entail a processing phase to produce a dispersion, involve a notably wider array of approaches. These encompass ultracentrifugation, both through density gradient methods and rate zonal techniques electrophoresis, ion exchange, gel chromatography, selective polymer dispersion extraction in organic solvents, aqueous two-phase extraction and more. Among the recently developed techniques, aqueous two-phase extraction is notable for its capability to serve both in comprehensive purification and in the specific selection of subpopulations within SWCNTs. Aqueous two-phase extraction was first introduced by Albertson in the 1950s. Initially, it was used to separate cellular components and biomolecules. In the process of aqueous two-phase extraction, two water-soluble polymers are combined in water at a concentration where a thermodynamic phase change occurs. For example, polyethylene glycol and dextran. This transition transforms a uniform solution into two distinct phases. Typically, these polymer phases exhibit differing solution densities. The concentration required for the polymers to induce the phase transition relies on the chemical characteristics of each polymer, as well as their distributions in molecular mass. When the polymer concentrations exceed the critical concentration line, under equilibrium conditions, the mixture will naturally divide into two phases, with concentrations at the respective phase boundaries. The common way to use ATPE with SWCNTs is by adjusting surfactant amounts to control how the nanotubes separate into two phases. Surfactants like sodium deoxycholate DOC, or sodium chelate SC, are often compared to another one called sodium dodosyl sulfate SDS. This happens in a system with polyethylene glycol PEG, and dextran DEX, aiming to control how the SWCNTs are distributed between the phases. Single chirality carbon nanotubes CNTs, have garnered significant interest in the field of biomedical applications due to their unique properties and potential benefits. Their tunable electronic, optical, and mechanical properties, along with their biocompatibility and surface functionalization possibilities, make them promising candidates for various biomedical uses. I hope you guys understand the needs of single chiral CNTs. Thank you for watching. See you soon with another interesting topics.